Hello amigos, ¿cómo están? Welcome to a very special episode. I'm Adam 86. Today we're going to be talking about the Mexico World Cup roster for Qatar 2022 because it's just been announced literally like a couple minutes ago. I'm just going to go straight through the squad quickly. Uh, Cota, Ochoa, Talavera in goal. Not very uh, surprising. Defenders, uh, Kevin Alvarez, um, Araujo, Nestor Araujo, Artiega, Gallardo, Moreno, Cesar Montes, Jorge Sanchez and Joan Vasquez. Midfielders, Edson Alvarez, Piero Alvarado, Antuna, Chavez, Godardo, Gutierrez, Hector Herrera, Pineda, uh, Charlie, Rod- me, Charlie Rodriguez and Luis Romo. And then the forwards, Funes Mori, uh, Raul Jimenez, and Lozano, and Martin, and Vega. Um, all in all, not really surprising. Um, going for the goalkeepers, obviously, the show is going to be playing 90% of this World Cup. Um, Talibera is going to be the backup, and then Cotta is going to be backup for them. Um, could I have argued with Acevedo being in there? I mean, I would like to have had him there, but realistically what kind of game time is he going to get because uh yeah i mean that charles will be playing main the games so like Lazavedo probably wouldn't have played at all anyway um and then we've got kevin alvarez is a little bit of a surprise obviously a backup um i think artiego on the left um probably montez and moreno in the center back position and then obviously jorge sanchez on the right i think that's the best defensive line we have and then obviously um Edson Alvarez and um, probably Gutierrez maybe Cotardo as well will be in the midfield I mean Hatch Hatch is causing a load of brothels but mainly because he's in the MLS I mean I don't really like the MLS that much um obviously apart from LAFC but uh, as a league I don't really like it that much it's not it's not as good as Liga MX the people just seem to hate it so bad that anyone that plays there is obviously crap I, mean, I just don't understand that I think it's a case by case basis has Hatch Hatcher declined since he's gone there hell yeah but I think he's still L tree worthy and I you know I don't see him starting um he probably will um I think I think Edson Alvarez and Gutierrez will be in the midfield probably with uh, Charlie Rodriguez um Maybe Pineda or Blin's going to play in there. Um, Luis Romo might show up. Um, so the midfield's all right, I guess, uh, as best as it can be. Um, and then the forwards, I think, is the main where everyone's really kicking off. And obviously, Santi Jimenez not being called up. Funes Mori in there for me. I just don't see it. I don't see why. Jimenez, Raul Jimenez, still injured, but I think he's going to be ready. I don't think he'll play the Poland game, but I think he'll be ready for the next two games and beyond, hopefully. And then obviously Henry Martin, standard, he's had a really good career in America this season, so fair enough to him. Vega, obviously, uh, Chick Lozano, I think Vega could actually go back to Vega, I think he could have a standout World Cup. Um, I've seen him getting a few goals, to be honest with you, but I think Chick is going to get the main load of goals, I think he's going to score the most goals for Mexico. Um, Funes Mori, I don't see him playing that much. I think it will be Henry Martin that starts against Poland. And then um, Raul Jimenez will start in the next two games. But we'll have to wait and see. But like I said, like Sandy Jimenez, if he'd been called up, I doubt he would have started. He wouldn't have started any of the games. And I don't. I think he would have got an extremely low amount of minutes. And I just don't see um, him playing that much. I just, you know, for me, he's young enough that he's going to get... He's going to get 2026 and he's in Europe now. He's established at um, Fire Nord. He's going to do really well and he'll probably be the starting striker in 2026. So he's young enough to wait. Yeah, fair enough. Um, Linus as well. I mean, Linus, I would rather have had him there. Obviously, he, off- he does offer something that no one else does in this Mexican team except for maybe Chico Lozano but, um, and maybe Corona as well. Tegatita is obviously a huge miss, but Injury it sucks, but it happens. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, Lionel would have had an extremely low amount of minutes, in my opinion. Piero Alvarado and Tuna, their backup, that I doubt they start. I think it'll be, um, it'll be Vega probably. I don't know which side. I think it'll be Vega on the left, Chucky on the right, and striker probably Henry Martin up front. And then Raúl Jiménez. Um, you know, just, they're not going to start. They're going to be backups. That's the whole point. You want to have your first eleven, and then just have a bunch of backups. And that's what Alvarado and Antuna are. They offer Antuna offers pace, and a, 
decent amount of passing. It doesn't really end, offer an end product. But Piojo Alvarado offers, he plays both wings. He plays this number 10 if he needed to. He knows Tata quite well. Tata seems to really like him. So, you know, that's obviously why. I mean, people just hate that Faz, uh, that Linus isn't there. But there are there is positives and there are reasons why Piojo is. And I'm not really that bothered, uh, to be honest with you. Um, Jimenez, Jimenez Linus, and Acevedo, the three people that probably should be there, that are not injured. And they would all have extremely low amount of minutes in this World Cup, in my opinion. Probably if that, I don't think Acevedo would play any part in this World Cup. Um, and same with Linus, he'd probably get 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, if that. And same with Santa Jimenez. I mean, maybe Santa Jimenez is the one, I think. The one where you can really look at him. Okay, that's, he should be there. And I think he should be there above Funes Mori. I think if Funes Mori wasn't there, and if it was just Raul Jimenez, Lozano, Martin and Vega as the forward line, I would be more okay with it. It's the fact that it's not having Santa Jimenez and bringing in Funes Mori. That is, that's, the, that's the issue for me. Um... So I think Santi Jimenez is levels above Funes Mori as we speak. So, but apart from the other two, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'm I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm very happy that Vasquez is in there. I'm very happy that Kevin Alvarez is in there. I got to speak to him that one time thanks to Weezo. So that was pretty cool. I'm so happy that he's um obviously there. Obviously game time's gonna be very limited, but he's gonna ex- learn it a lot from the especially defenders. Defenders seem to bloom later than everyone else but um yeah overall i give it i don't know a seven out of ten really a fully fit about Jimenez would make it about an eight and then obviously if Sandy Jimenez was in there instead of Freelance Mori I'll give it a nine I think it's probably a decent ish World Cup roster uh, I think that Chara absolutely needs to perform in this because the defensive line's a bit dodgy because Jorge Sanchez and obviously Artiga Young stars, I think by twenty twenty six they'll be established European players, um, but right now they're they're only just establishing some, themselves and they're super young as well. So, but yeah, like I said, I think it's gonna be Vega's chance to shine. I, I see him getting a couple of goals, and I think Chucky Lozano will score most of the goals. And all this talk about the strikers will be moot because Chucky and Vega and uh, you know maybe a couple of the midfielders will get the goals. So um, yeah, I'm I'm alright with it. I'm not massively extremely disappointed to see people are just going off the rails about it i'm just like uh, i think it's i think it's as good as it can get right now apart from maybe santa Jimenez over in funes mori that'll be my main issue um but yeah that's my my initial reaction guys hope you like it and um yeah put in the comment down below if you if i've missed a player that should be there i mean obviously tecatito is injured but anyone else that i think should be there i don't think marcelo flores ever really had a chance to be in the squad as well just talking to him quickly about him quickly um i think if he'd broken into the arsenal team the first 14 games of the season and was part of the team that was currently winning the leading the um the table in the premier league right now i think that might have given him a chance to get in but you know, he seems to be struggling with minutes around Oviedo, which is starting to worry me more and more as time goes on. But yeah, he's definitely not going to be in the squad, unfortunately. But maybe 2026, that's the way to see. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, and um, we'll talk about it in the comments. So take it easy, guys, and I'll see you guys very soon. Adios. Mm-hmm.